After a tenant stops paying rent, does a landlord have a duty to mitigate damages and enter into a new lease? In Holy Properties Limited versus Kenneth Cole Productions, we'll see whether a landlord had the right to collect an evicted tenant's full rent after the landlord didn't do anything to mitigate its damages. In 1985, Kenneth Cole Productions entered into a lease to rent a commercial building. Kenneth Cole's lease period was from January 1, 1985 to December 31, 1994. The lease expressly stated that the owners weren't required to mitigate damages if Kenneth Cole were evicted or if Kenneth Cole abandoned the property. The lease also held that Kenneth Cole would be liable for its rent obligations under the lease. At some point in 1991, the building was acquired by a new owner, Holy Properties Limited. In December of 1991, Kenneth Cole claimed that the building services had deteriorated. Kenneth Cole vacated the building and stopped paying rent. Holy Properties later evicted Kenneth Cole for failing to pay rent. Holy Properties sued Kenneth Cole to recover the unpaid rent as well as damages. At trial, Kenneth Cole asserted an affirmative defense that Holy Properties failed to mitigate its damages because Holy Properties didn't find a replacement tenant or show the property to prospective tenants. The trial court ruled in favor of Holy Properties and held that Holy Properties didn't have a duty to mitigate its damages. Kenneth Cole appealed. The Court of Appeals affirmed the trial court's holding. Kenneth Cole appealed again to the New York Court of Appeals, the state's highest court. 